Hi there, I'm looking for a cave of some sort, but I'm not exactly sure where to find it. I believe it could be located somewhere in the gorge. Do you know anyone that might be able to help me? Hmm. You need an Aboriginal trucker, miss. Sounds like you need some fella that knows every nook and cranny of the gorge. There's a few good fellas who know the gorge, but most of them have gone walkabout. No work in town. But there is one fella who might be willing to help you out. And might I ask that gentleman's name? <laughs> He'd be a gentleman, all right. Always minds his manners, he does. He'd be called Billy Two Dogs. I don't know for sure, but you might find him out by the gorge tomorrow. You tell him Nellie Bates sent you, and he'd show you around the place. Thank you, Nellie. You've been most helpful. Aha! William of the Dual Canines. William, Billy, Dual, Two, Canines, Dogs, Billy, Two Dogs. I think I might have found my man. Welcome back to Beyond the Ski On, and before we start, I would just like to point out something that I noticed when I was practicing this level. It tells me in the statistics that I've used a health pack. I have not used a health pack, so I don't know why it's telling me that. Um, I re really don't know why it's telling me that. I've, all, I've checked through my previous videos, and I can't see anywhere where I have, so I don't know. And also I've noticed, when you do use a health pack in this game, uh, usually a small one counts as half. It's, it is one health pack that's been used. Whether it's a small or a large, it counts as one. So. Also, I'm just going to point out that uh, we've got the Atlantis trophy there for getting all the secrets in the previous level, but we don't have the secrets. That's fine, we do have the secrets, it tells us in the statistics, and we've got the trophy as well. So don't worry that all the secrets have actually gone, it just keeps the inventory tidy. So, here we go, if we take a step forward, we get an update. So if we have a look. Location, remote homestead, Pilbara region, Western Australia. Inventory, nil meaning we don't have any pieces of ski on in the inventory. Objectives. Make contact with Pilly Two Dogs. Find hidden Dreamline Cave to reveal location of secret ski on storage temples. Secrets in this level, zero. So unfortunately we will not be finding any secrets in this level. So if we continue round, there is a wombat over here. They're very slow, so you don't really need to worry about them. Okay, and on the right, there's some flares. And just continue down, careful when you come round the corner, because there's a spike pit. So just jump into this gap. And then just jump up here. And behind us there is a ledge there, and on the ledge is a large med pack. Woo. So just grab that and hop back down. And if we come back up, okay so just climb up and follow the passage round. Once we get to the tile in front of us, that will trigger a boulder trap. So if we go ahead and trigger that, it's very slow so you really don't need to panic about it. Lara is safe on this tile here, it completely misses her. Here it comes. There you go. And you, 
you can't actually hang off the ledge there either, it drags Lara down with it. So this is the first time I've known that you can't hang from a ledge to hide from a boulder. Anyway, if we continue round, we get some awesome music. I think it's very cool, it's quite different, I like it. Okay, so as we come out here, uh, Billy Two Dogs comes out and he doesn't shut up. G'day miss, you been having fun playing in the Wombat Burrows? Yes, it's quite a labyrinth down there, isn't it? I'm looking for someone called Billy Two Dogs. Would that be you by any chance? Yes ma'am, that'd be me, good old Billy Two Dogs, at your service. Nice to meet you Billy, my name is Lara, Lara Croft. Hmm, that not a bad set of wheels you got there, miss. Thank you. It gets me from point A to point B. Okay, so um, while Billy's not talking, we um, you have to go up to him to trigger his speech. So before I do that, I'm going to come in here. There's a small med pack and some shotgun shells over here. Okay, and now to let Billy talk. So what's a pretty lady like you doing round these parts? I was told by Ned that you might be able to help me find my way down into the gorge. I'm looking for some sort of hidden cave which may contain some important information. So I just shot a kangaroo there. There will be two more come round in a moment. For now I'll let Billy do his thing. Yeah, no worries. For a nice looking lady like you, I'll be glad to help. The entrance to the gorge, yeah, she's out, uh, she's out to the east there. We better, we better head out there now before it gets too dark. Okay, so Billy's going to go get a torch, and to make him come down into the gorge, we need to walk up to the gate that's down there. But the rod thing goes around the corner, and they move incredibly quickly. So just keep jumping around. They are pretty quick. Okay, one. I don't know if I got it. Okay, I'll just stand on the tile here to trigger Billy. I think I got it, it's not followed me. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, and up here in the corner by the tree are some shotgun shells. You have to bend down to get them because the tree is in the way. And while we wait for Billy, here he comes. and he will continue to talk, so just either stand near him to get him to talk, or move away from him. Um, what do you know about this cave, Miss Croft? A university professor pointed me in this direction. Nah, no professor type come out here. But a fella, he come here a long time ago. I only know of him through our Dreamtime stories. He get from father's, father's, father's father to paint a story on the walls of the cave. But it didn't make no sense to nobody. Billy remembered that story because that fella's name always make me laugh. <laughs> tea o can. What a fella want to drink tea from a can for? He should be drinking it from the cup. Tea ho can. We have a lot more in common than you might think, Billy. You might want to head down into the chasm there, miss. We'll need to work together to get across here. I'm sure I can find something to keep me amused down there. Alright, now everyone stop talking, I can get a word in. Um, the idea is we need to raise these two platforms for Billy so he can get across and then he will help Lara get across so if we make our way down 
there is a Razorback in here, and the safest way to deal with it is just to stand on this block here. It takes a lot longer, but it's safer. You know, I've just noticed I've got full health. Those dingoes didn't do any damage whatsoever. I think that's the first time that's happened. Okay. So if we come down this way, if we come to the right and then follow it round, there are some there's some revolver ammo there in the corner. And then just come back round and continue the way we were going. So now Billy's across, he's going to raise a platform for Lara to get across. And if we just continue the way we came, Billy will start talking again. Our friends and players stand in the corner there. You want to grab them and I'll get this other platform working for you? So here's the flares. I'm going to head down to the main gorge. Start making your way down there too. I'll be along shortly to help you get down further. Right, so we just make our way back up. Right, so uh, we are going to have to do some jumps. So uh, just be careful of the ceiling, because the ceiling is very low here. So be mindful with your jumps. Okay, I'm going to actually save. I've not saved yet. side here because the ceiling's quite low on the right. And then we need to run and jump and grab in the air for this jump. Okay. So if we just follow this passage round we come to an open area with a big hole in the middle so be careful of that. And right at the far end in the corner here there's a small med pack. Whoa, I thought I was going to fall off. So if we stay on this side, we need to get down to the next level. So the easiest way to do that is stay at these cornered areas. Because Lara will not grab that edge there because it's... I can't really explain it. It's just a corner bit that uh, she will not grab so if you hop back and go to grab she will slide on to the next level and if you come near the door that triggers Billy to come and open it so while we're waiting for him there is a small med pack over in this corner okay and now Billy will continue to talk uh, how did you get the name Billy Two Dogs? <laughs> Never mind, miss. It's not a story Billy can tell to a fine lady like you. Yeah, and you don't need to go sprinting off or rushing down here, because by the time you get to the end, there's actually a door that Billy needs to open. So we need to wait for him anyways. So I actually did rush then, I don't know why. <laughs> I just said don't rush. Down there, but I reckon you can get down to the next rock shelf by yourself. Okay, so in the uh, the far corner here, there's some shotgun shells. Oh, if I can line myself up on top of them. Uh, 
then this is where we want as much health as we can. So this is how to get down. You grab this corner and lose half of your health. So if we come this way, this um, we need to go up and let Billy in. So around this next corner there's a wombat. bad for killing them, they're quite sweet. <laughs> There's another one around here. Okay. And we can see here, Billy is very eagerly waiting to come through. So, we let him in. And this is where he actually sprints down so I like to race him see who wins okay let's go usually he wins I think I'm doing pretty good oh no no he's gonna overtake me no no ah, I won okay so Billy's gonna come in light this torch and here there's a small med pack and a revolver because we've already got a revolver that counts as ammo and across on the other side there was a large med pack nearly there now with a bit of care you should be able to get down to the bottom <laughs> watch out for the crocs though okay so what Billy did is raise this platform here and this We've got two more long drops here, so I'm going to save. Okay. So, um, what's my health like? I'm going to see if I can get away with not using a med pack. Didn't work. I'll use a med pack. Okay, so using a med pack. Use a small one, don't need a large one. Right. Hmm. Wonder if I can get away with not using one again. I'll see. Let's try. Okay. Oh, Whoa, yes, okay. So on here, crawl down, kneel down rather, and get a small med pack there. And get your guns ready because there's a massive crocodile. So just stand on here, shoot it. Alright then. So there's Billy. And you may have already noticed there is a med pack here. And we need to go around and let Bill Billy in that room. And the way to do that... Oh, excuse me! Hey! Oh, how rude. This is the way to go. So there's often a crocodile in here. So get rid of that. Often when the crocodile is not in there, that means it's on the other side of the um, the water tunnel. So let me just show you. Often if you stand here, it coaxes the crocodile towards this door on the other side of the door, so it can't get you. And you'll know it's there because you can hear it scuffling around. So if it's there, you don't need to actually worry about it in the water. It's just when you get out of the water that you need to worry about it. So, let me save quickly. Okay, so in here, we swim down and go straight into this bit on the left. Because there is a boulder. And that just goes backwards and forwards, so I'm going to follow it out and then go left again and then up into this gap, because there is another boulder. Okay. So 
you just continue. And if you have not yet shot that crocodile, this is where you will bump into it. So for now you want to ignore it and try and get out of the water to jump over it. And standing on this block is the perfect safe place to actually shoot it. So. Right, now we're in here. You see there's a... Ah, it's either a hand or a foot, I can't tell. But there's a mark on the ground there and there. So we need to put... there's two blocks here, we need to put the blocks, one on each mark. So just pull them out. stand just here until you um, you need to walk up to the painting for him to go up to it and I would like to take the opportunity to say thank you for watching part three of Beyond the Ski On and I hope you will join me next time. Thanks a lot, see you soon guys. Jeez, this is a very unusual Dreamtime painting. I don't know what all this different lands are and this big green snake. Maybe he want to eat them four cherries there. What do you reckon, miss? This is a map of the world, Billy. The green line shows that I must travel to the places marked with the red spots. The spot on the right is where we are here. The other three... Well, I have something important to take to each one of those places. I should start on my journey immediately. Thank you, Billy, for showing me this special place. If anyone else comes looking for this cave, I suggest you pretend to know nothing about it, as it could be very dangerous. No worries. I just tell them to go to buggery. I like your attitude, Billy.